Ba'agola uvizman korif. Speedily and soon. Those are the words that we recite in the famous Kaddish prayer. When we're praying to God and asking for the final redemption, peace for all of mankind, the rebuilding of the temple, the coming of the Messiah, we say speedily and soon. Rav Avram Pam asked the question, what is speedily and soon? What's the difference? Speedily sounds like soon. Soon sounds like speedily. And he explains beautifully that there is such a thing in our tradition as ikvisa de Meshicha, the time, the time of the coming of the Messiah. It's a time period. The Chafetz Chaim explained after World War One. He explained that the period, that period of the coming of the Messiah, was actually beginning, and you could see it by speed, the speed of change in the world, the all of the sudden the fall of the Ottoman Empire, the fall of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. These are. For, for so for years and years and years, these empires seem to be I I Im impossible for it to ever fall. Fall And likewise, in the 1990s, we saw the fall of communism, the fall of the Iron Curtain, the world map, the changes that occurred overnight. These are indications, said the Chafetz Chaim, that this is the time period prior to to the coming of the Messiah. So we say speedily and soon. It means speedily, let this time period come, but soon let it culminate. Let us see it come into fruition. Actually, we say the same words when we make a Mishabarach for somebody who's ill. We say a complete and speedy re recovery speedily and soon. The same thing. Of course, we want to see the beginning of the recovery. Ah, oh, look, wow, the patient ate. Whoa, the patient spoke. Oh, they're starting to move. Oh, they're starting to walk. It's beautiful. It's exciting. But we say speedily and soon, let there be a complete recovery. We are about to enter into the Rosh Hashanah season, the high holiday season. And we come to God and we ask for ourselves, for our family, speedily and soon. May all of our prayers be answered. But likewise, there is a giant concept that we focus on at this high holiday period. It is Hamelech, God's kingship, God's leadership, God's rulership, God's reign over the whole world, where everyone will recognize the sovereignty of God, the oneness of God. And that is so important for us to focus on in our prayers on Rosh Hashanah. As we focus on ourselves and our lives and our families, it is in the overview, it is crucial for us to focus on the speedily uh, redemption of all of mankind, peace in the world, the rebuilding of the Holy Temple, and... Uh, our rabbis tell us that if we have a global focus and we include the world in our prayers, then God will make sure to include us personally in his answers. Have a fabulous Shabbos and the sweetest and most beautiful Rosh Hashanah and the most fulfilling coming year.